Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anita, Anita Critics, and today we are going to be making a dupatta swimsuit that I have showed most of you and you actually voted for it. So um, to start with, I'm going to be working with um, Robin 100% acrylic and it is 50 grams as you can see right here, 50 grams and you will need um, scissors just a pair of scissors and then I'm going to be working with a 3.5 millimeter hook as you can see sorry about my nail it's been broken so I'm going to be working with a 3.5 millimeter hook and I want us to just start right away I will need two colors of yarn that is white and any other color that you want to work with uh, just to start with my green because I'm going to be working with green this time so I always tell you guys that for 50 gram grams yarn you should always care to use um, two, two strands so here we are we are going to start with a knot like this and I'm um, going to get my hook inside the knot, the loop and to start with you're going to chain 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay so you're going to yarn over and into the third chain stitch from the hook you're going to work a double crochet like this like this and then you'll continue working double crochets into the next one double crochet into every stitch so this is the third and the fourth the fifth and the sixth okay so this is our first row so we have six double crochets you're going to chain two and turn your work you're just going to work six um, double crochets on this row as well so this is more like the crotch this is how I always start my pants or like what you call bikini bottoms so um, you're going to have to make six double crochets on the second row and you're just going to continue doing this for two more rows that makes it four rows okay so this is the third row and um, I'm going to make the fourth row Okay, basically, this is more like the crotch area. So, um, this makes it four. Four rows of double crochets. So, you're going to chain two and turn your work into this very first stitch you're going to work two double crochets so we have two we are trying to now start making an increase so into the next you're going to work one double crochet and into this very last stitch right here you're going to work two double crochets this is more like just to make an increase for um, the nika we are trying to make. So this is how it looks. And then um, you're going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to work three double crochets into this very first stitch right here. So we have three double crochets one two three and you're now going to work one double crochet into the next stitches until you get to the last stitch 
so we have one double crochet into every stitch and once you are at the end of your row in the last stitch you're going to work three double crochets so basically for me this is the sequence I follow when I'm making bikini bottoms and now you can see a visible increase like you can see right here so we are going to just uh, chain two and turn your work and um, work two double crochets into the very first stitch like this so these are two double crochets and then into the next you're just going to work uh, one double crochet I hope this this is very visible for you guys because I really don't want to like put a flashlight it's not even useful okay let me just leave it so you are going to work one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of the row and once you're at the end of your row you're going to work just like you started with if you start with um, two double crochets you have to end with two double crochets that is for that sort of like increase you're trying to make so into the very last stitch we are going to work two double crochets and chain two turn your work into the very first stitch you're going to work three double crochets So you're going to now continue working one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end and in the last stitch you're going to work three double crochets got someone talking about how um, I placed my camera and I've been thinking about how I can actually try to adjust my tripod and get it to shoot something that is actually more visible for all of you so you can like be in position to see the whole piece the way it is and I'm thinking I'm trying to do well this time so if you don't if you don't find this as well better than what I have been doing you can always comment so I can like try to make adjustments so this is what we have one two three four five six seven eight so your eighth row should look like this so you can see we are already making an increase right here and um, here we made an increase of two two double crochets when we we're starting and also when we we're ending the row and then here we started with three double crochets when we we're starting and ending the row we made three double crochets we made two right here we made three right here so this is the sequence i want you guys to follow and um for um i want us to just continue doing that like increase making um having two double crochets of increase and then three double crochets on the next row two double crochets on the next and three double crochets of increase on the next row so i want you guys to just do it to do this repeatedly for um at least if you're making for small they should be one two three four um let's say about 14 more rows so if these are like one two three four rows of increase we have like 10 rows 10 more rows to add on to this and then i can get back to you guys and show you what i have and how it looks like and then we can go on to the next step so i believe now you know what to do so just do this repeatedly two rows of increase three rows of increase until you make 14 rows in total so these are four so we have like 10 more left so let me meet you there so this is where we are i have um 14 rows of increase and then the four normal rows that i started with so when you get here what we are going to do is we are going to just work three normal rows like this you're going to chain two and turn your work and into the very first stitch you're going to work one double crochet 
and you're going to just continue working one double crochet into every stitch until the end so basically here we are not going to make any decrease or increases so we are just making no more rows so just work one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end and when i meet you there i'm going to show you what to do so um i already have my three rows done like these are three normal rows one two three that are normal so from here we are going to start working a decrease and um okay so you're going to chain two and turn your work so into this very first stitch you're going to work um you're going to insert your hook yarn through and then yarn over pull through two and then yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through all so we are trying to make a decrease like you can see so from here we are just going to work no more no much um no more stitches one half double crochet into every stitch so you're just going to go to do this until you get to um the the end but of course when you're left with like um two stitches to go i'm going to show you how to also make a decrease so let me meet you when you have two stitches left I'm right here I have two stitches left as you can see like this is one two and when you're there you're going to yarn over insert your hook pull through yarn yarn over pull through two and then yarn over insert your hook into the very last stitch pull through yarn yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through all so you're going to chain two and turn your work so more like this is more like just a decrease to make that sort of like curve and um right here into the very first stitch right here is where we are going to make a decrease like i have showed you oh yeah like this and then yarn over pull through all so from here you're just going to make um no more double crochet stitches until you get to the point at the end of the row when you have two stitches left and there you're going to work a decrease so we are going to have four rows of decrease and this is more like the second row so we have like two rows left so let me meet you at the end of this row when you have two stitches left and let me show you how to decrease again before i can like show you how to work the third row so i'm right here this was our decrease and this is the second stitch so we are going to just work a decrease like i showed you okay and then yarn over pull through all so you're going to chain two turn your work and work a decrease like i said we have to have four rows of decrease so that means this is the third row we are left with one more row so i want to meet you there at the end of your fourth row of decrease and then i can show you what to do next so right now i have four rows of decrease and you can see how it looks like okay this is where we started from and this is where we are so um right now i'm just going to chain two turn my work and then i'm going to just work four rows of like four normal rows of normal half double of normal double crochet without making any increase so into the very first stitch is where you're going to work your first double crochet and just continue working 
one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of this row so right here you're just going to work no more double crochets until you get right here without making any decreases or increases so you're just going to do this for four other rows after you're done with your four normal rows of double crochet i'm going to show you what to do next so basically this is more like midway our belly and um we are just like more like going upwards to the under bust and then the bust so just work for no more double crochet rows and then i can get back and show you what to do so um i am done with my four rows four no more rows and this is what we have okay so more like um we want now to like make an increase because now we are approaching the under bust right here so we are going to make an increase so like i said um we are going to start making an increase because now we are working like um the under bust so this is what we are going to do we are going to chain two turn your work okay and into this very first stitch you're going to work two double crochets like that and then you're going to work one double crochet into every stitch on this row and when you get to the end of this row in the very last stitch you're going to work two double crochets that is to like start your increase and have your underbust made so let me meet you there and show you how to start the next row so i'm at the end of my row and um i'm going to chain two turn my work we are still making increases so into this very first stitch i'm going to work two double crochets And this is going to go on for uh, a total of six rows so that means if this is our second row we have like four rows left and into the next you're going to just work normal double crochets like one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end and in the very last stitch on this row you're going to work two double crochets to make an increase so just keep increasing for a total of six rows I repeat if this is our second row we have like four rows left so let me meet you there at the end of your sixth row of increase for the under bust so I'm at the end of my sixth uh, row of increase and this is already evident that we have our under bust worked out like you can see where we started from okay I'm starting to get some shadows because I'm out, I'm outside so I, I think you guys don't actually get this to affect what you're trying to see when I'm making so um, what we are going to do is we are going to count all our stitches on this row um, myself specifically I have 53 stitches on the row so I'm going to divide 53 by 2 because now I want to make my breast cups and with 53 I have like 26 with a remainder so I'm going to count 26 there is my oh wow okay I'm just going to get a string you can use any marker that you have a yarn marker so you can like one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and this is the more like the one that had to be like the fifty third so it is um right here that i'm going to like mark with just a piece of yarn 
so this is more like this this is more like our middle for our breast cups more like the cleave so the cleavage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start decreasing because now i want to make my breast cups so i'm going to turn my work around and then chain two are you guys even seeing okay wow so i'm going to work a decrease in this very first stitch i'm going to yarn over insert my hook yarn through yarn over pull through two and yarn over insert my hook into the next stitch yarn through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through all so this is more like my decrease and i'm going to work if this is our first stitch i have to work um 24 stitches before i can like work a decrease right here so i'm going to work one double crochet into every stitch until i get to uh, the marked middle when i'm left like with two stitches then i'm going to like make a decrease and show you how to go about the rest of the breast cup so let me meet you there and show you what to do so right here we are going to make a decrease uh, you're going to yarn over into this stitch you're going to yarn through yarn over pull through two and yarn over insert your hook into the marked stitch right here uh, yarn through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all so you're going to chain two and turn your work and now you're just going to do the same okay like you can see into the very first stitch you're going to work a decrease like this and pull through all now you're going to work no more double crochets until you get to the end of the row when you have two stitches left and there you work a, you work a decrease again so we're just going to do this for um, a total of three rows and this is more like the second row so if this is our second row we have one more row to go and then from there i'm going to show you what to do next because it's going to be a little bit different from what we have been doing so let me get you guys there so i have counted my stitches and i have 21 of them right here so um i'm going to divide 21 by two and i have that means i have 10 so when you're beginning this row you're going to work a decrease into this very first stitch with the next and just make a decrease like this so that means these are two stitches so i'm going to count 10 Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this should be the 10th, all right? So into the 10th, I'm going to work a decrease like this, like we have been making. And then yarn over, pull through all. So this is more like to give us not that very straight sort of like breast cup but to have your breast cup have some sort of curve so um from here you're going to just work normal double crochets until you get to the end So 
so once you're at the end you're not going to make a decrease you're just going to work normal rows normal normal stitches normal half and uh, normal double crochet stitches and when you're starting the next row you're going to make a decrease like this all right and then now just work normal double crochet stitches you should remember that you have what what i'll call the mid of the breast cap so you don't get past it as you can see this is where i made the decrease right here so i'm going to um, work a decrease like this yarn over into the next stitch yarn through yarn over pull through to yarn over pull through all so that's my decrease that's in the middle of the breast cup so for the next time just going to work no more double crochet until i get to the end of the row without making another decrease So basically when you're doing this you should only make the decrease when you're starting um the next row like a new row that's when you make the decrease but when you're ending the row you shouldn't make a decrease because i am assuming that the decrease that should have gone at the end of the row is already right here in the middle of the cup so from here you're going to chain two and make a decrease like I told you like this and then make no more double crochet stitches until you get to the middle of our assumed breast cup and when you get there you're going to make a decrease as well so just don't get past it you should always remember you're always making a decrease in the middle of this assumed breast cup so don't forget and just pass it by so you're just going to keep doing this until you get to the peak of it when you have decreased almost everything out and it's now a triangle so let me meet you guys there and show you what to do next so guys this is where we are i've made a decrease don't worry about this it is where i just joined my other ball of yarn so i've made a decrease for my breast cup and this is how it looks like and i believe all your pieces should look like this as well so um this is what it is okay so i'm going to cut my yarn from here like that and just secure this so what i have worked for this breast cup is what i exactly want you guys to work for this other breast as well so when you when you're done with working all your breasts you're going to turn back and get back to the crotch where we started from the foundation chains that we made when we were starting and right here is where you're going to attach your yarn like this and um, you're going to yarn through and chain two okay so just to secure the the crotch we are going to work single crochets and they should be six because we made um we made six double crochets when we were starting those were the foundation chains that we left and worked uh, double crochets on them so we have to have six single crochet stitches and um, we are going to chain two and turn your work from here you're going to work double crochets yes like this just like we started so this is more like to work your butt area and um, this is the trick because most people come here asking me yes anita how do you actually work your bikini bottoms and i try to actually explain it to them but they don't actually get it because they are used to chaining your whole front and then 
decrease to the crotch and then work your your butt this is how i do it and i actually find it very 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 simple it's according to what sort of like design you're making for your your bikini bottom and it also gives you a sort of like gauge so like you just don't have to have a specific number of chains to start with it's very easy to adjust to whatever size you want to make because you're like increasing and meeting the size that you want to make rather than just chaining and then working decreases and you find someone's whole thing cannot actually fit in that front part that you actually thought can cover the whole you know the whole front so uh, basically you're going to work four normal rows just like we made you're going to work four normal rows of double crochet and after that you are going to start making an increase for the butt area so once you are done with your fourth row that's exactly where you're going to start increasing so i am thinking i am done okay so i'm going to chain two like this and turn your work and then you're going to work three double crochets to start with in the very same stitch like this and then you're going to work no more double crochet stitches into the next four stitches and in the very last stitch you're going to work three double crochets in the same same stitch so let me just meet you guys there because i've told you what to do okay let me just show you so right here is um the very last stitch so i'm going to work three double crochets into the very same stitch now the the thing is i want the back to like increase rapidly because i want it to like be different from the front and also be in position to cover the whole bum unless you're actually making a thong you can just maybe decrease and make a string and you have your thong ready but if you want something that can actually cover someone's butt we need a very much more rapid um increase so we are going to chain two and work three double crochet stitches in the very same stitch this very first stitch so once you have your three you're going to work no more double crochet stitches in the next stitches like this and um you're going to you're going to get to the very last stitch and work three double crochet stitches that is for the increase so let me meet you guys there and show you what to do next so i'm at the end of my row and i'm going to chain two and turn my work and i'm going to, i'm going to work two double crochets into the very first stitch these are two double crochets and now I'm going to continue working no more double crochet stitches until I get to the end of the row. And at the end of the row, I am going to work um, one double, uh, sorry, two double crochet stitches in the very last stitch. And then I'll just explain to you what to do and um, what the sequence you're going to follow is going to be. So. I am right here at the end so I'm going to make two double crochet stitches into the very last stitch and I'm going to chain two and turn my work so what we are going to do is we are going to follow a sequence of three double crochets in the very first stitch and at the end of the row and on the next row we are also going to do the same three double crochets when we are starting and also ending the row and the third row should be two double crochets when we are beginning and also ending the row so that is the sequence you're going to follow the first sequence was um three double crochets when we are starting and ending and then two double crochets when we are starting and ending three double crochets starting and ending and two double crochets starting and ending so that was like three two three two three two and for the back because we want a rapid increase we are going to make um um two rows of starting with three double crochets and ending with three double crochets of increase 
and then the third row should be two double crochets of increase and three double and two double crochets ending the row of increase so basically we are going to be like following a sequence of three three and two like three double crochets to start with and end the row three double crochets to start with and end the next row and then two double crochets on the next row to start with and end it so you're just going to do to um follow that sequence for a total of 20 rows so if we have one two three rows we have like 17 rows left so you have to work your 17 and you will have your butt covered and everything actually complete so when when i get back i will be showing you how to work the dupatta on top of this and how to um get it on and attach it and also make you finish uh, well finished boundaries right here and also adding the string so just work on that finish your butt 20 rows in total and um, also work your breast right here and then i get back to show you what to do next so this is where i am i finished my and this is the back so these are 17 rows of um, three double crochet of increase on both sides at the beginning and end three double crochet of increase for the next row both sides and two double crochet of increase for the third row on both sides so these are 17 rows and um, to make 20 like I had said we are going to have to make the last three rows that um, top up to 20 to have to be like no more rows without increases because as you know we also did um three no more rows on the other side right here you remember we made three no more rows here so that's what i'm going to do exactly for the back i'm going to have three no more rows so let me just get my thread so i'm going to chain two and I've already turned my work, so I'm just going to work the first double crochet into this very first stitch. And then I'm going to just keep working no more double crochet stitches until I get to the end of the row. So I just want three no more rows without making any increases because these are the more like this is where we are going to attach our strings from so we will just work three of them so let me meet you after you have your three rows complete and then i show you what to do because now it's more like the whole swimsuit is done we are just going to see how to um to put the dupatta design on the front and also work the boundaries okay so i'm at the end of my three rows and i'm going to now start single crocheting all this border so i'm working my first single crochet into the into this stitch and then into the middle of the double crochet stitch and in the joint right here so into the middle of the double crochet stitch and into the joint this is how i keep um i keep a good boundary so um this joint being the joint to which we started to make no more double crochet rows is where I'm going to work a corner and there I'm going to put three single crochet stitches into the same stitch like this yeah so from here I'm going to just keep doing that one double crochet one single crochet into the double crochet stitch and one into the joint of the double crochets or you can just work two single crochet stitches into every double crochet stitch that will be better but um to just keep stitches that are so close to each other and they are just so you know put in place rather than having a little a little little gaps in there and in most cases i actually don't want gaps into my work i just want it to come out neat so that's what i usually do 
So you're just going to work single crochets all the way from right here go on and go on all the way here and all the way here and all the way back here but um why you remember that we have corners you have to put three single crochets into that stitch even right here and here where we put three double crochet uh, rows of normal normal double crochet without increments so basically this corner we need three single crochets even this even this until you get back here so let me cut you there and show you what to do next and literally you're just going to do the same but i need two rows of single crochets so when you get up here you're just going to turn your work and work uh, another row of single crochets all along that whole row that you have been making so let me get you there so I'm done with my first row of double of single crochet as you can see so I've turned my work and I'm going to chain two and start the second row of single crochet Now you all should make sure that the second row is going to be uh, the top of our work. So whichever whichever side your second single crochet row is going to be, that should be taken as the top of your work. Because if it is not the top of your work, then it's not going to look nice. It's not going to look perfect. Yeah? So let's work another row of single crochet just like we have been making and when you get to the corners you're going to have to work um, three single crochets in that same stitch so this is more like just to give us a firm firm border and something like that looks really really neat so I'm thinking that you all can just go by two rows of single crochet if you don't you can just go ahead and just have one row of single crochet but since I love knit borders I prefer you make two rows of single crochet that's if you're working with the type of yarn that I have showed you that is 50 grams if you're working with a hundred grams of yarn then you probably can just work one row of single crochet because if you work so this is the corner and I'm working three single crochets if you work two rows of single crochets for the borders and you're using the chunky yarn the other bigger yarn that is 100 grams it's probably going to look so bulky it's also going to increase the size of your swimsuit because the more rows you work the more increment you're making on the swimsuit so it's better you just work one row of single crochet and just go with that but just make sure you have made it neatly and it does not show any sort of like bends or you know twists and all that so this is how it has to look like so you see it's like really really neat okay so you just do this continuously all along this line back to here and then you're going to turn your work and do the same for this side do this work the same borders for this side and now I'm going to come back after you have done all that and show you what to do next. So I'm done with my bordering and this is what I have. As you can see. As you can see. As you can see. And finally. As you can see. You just try to stretch this out so it can get back to normal so I've put straps right here so you can as well go ahead and put your straps right here and again right here and here here and here and then here and here so before you add your straps up here we are just going to also work um, single crochets down down to the cleavage and I'm going to get this very same yarn 
because this is my top so I'm going to start from this side so that means I am working my first row of single crochet on the inside so it is this side I'm going to chain two and start working just like you have been making so I'm going to work single crochets along this row and that's um, two single crochets in every one double crochet stitch like this okay I don't know what you guys call it whether you call it a bar or something like that but every strike of one cr of, of a double crochet you're going to work two single crochets okay like this so we are going to work it up to down here so when you get here I'm going to show you how to like put this a little bit together so it does not like you know spread out so much like this so let's get there and I'll show you what to do so I finished to um, work a single crochet in the joint and right here in the middle of this the double crochet right here is where I'm going to um, insert my hook and yarn through yarn over insert my hook into the opposite side double crochet the stitch on the opposite side yarn through and yarn over pull through all so this is more like to still have that sort of like dive within the the cleavage and not just to work no more double no more single crochets and make this whole corner stretch out instead of like come together so you're just going to uh, remain working your normal single crochet until you get to the tip of your cup right here so let me get you there and show you what to do next so once you're done with your single crochet stitches you're going to cut your yarn and turn your work around now we are working on the outside so you're going to get your white yarn it's still the same brand Robin 100% acrylic 50 grams and um, you can use whichever color you prefer to use I prefer white because it's going to give it some sort of like pop <coughs> okay this thing is going to get messy wow okay so once you have your white yarn you're also going to use two strands if you're working with um um a hundred grams i actually don't really know but i usually advise to use lightweight yarn for all your swimsuits because they're going to come out light and they're just the perfect size for perfect weight for water because the moment it gets into water it's going to like gain some sort of like weight and also sag so i'm going to attach my white yarn like this i've chained two i actually had to chain one okay you chain one and into the very first stitch right here you're going to work a single crochet and a single crochet so literally you're just going to work single crochets into the very single crochets of the previous row and um, when we get here that's why I'm going to show you what to do next so I am right here I want you guys to be in position to see this clearly because now it gets a little bit tricky so this is where we made a decrease all right so um, I'm going to like back post right here I had to like work a single crochet right here but I'm going to back post like this okay and work a single crochet and then I'm going to chain 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
Okay, so I'm going to work single crochets along this row. So to start with, I'm going to chain more two to make it 27. And then um, in the third chain stitch from the hook, you're going to work a single crochet. Now we are working on the other side of that foundation chains we have made. All right. So we are going to work a single crochet like this. And get back up here so when you're here I'm going to show you what to do so right here when you're done with all your 25 um, single crochet stitches you're going to get back here so you see where we worked at um, um, our back post so these are the two that we um, decreased like crocheted them together to make a decrease so right here you're going to work at a back post and it should be like a slip stitch this is more like just to have this attached to this so you will just chain one and work single crochets so this is what we have okay you see what we have that's how it looks like rather if you find this very difficult for you to understand you can just work this whole piece alone and then you just get back to attach it on and like just sew it on hand sew it on but i usually just want to work uh, most of my stuff with my hook unless it goes past what i can do i will get to hand sewing so just keep working normal single crochets until you get to the end right here and then i can show you what to do so I've come to the end of the first row of white and right here I want you guys to be a little more attentive I've chained two and I'm going to work a back post like that all right and work a single crochet like that so I'm going to chain three Okay, I'm going to skip one and work a back post, single crochet like that. Okay, one, two, three, three, skip this and work into this, a back post. One, two, three, skip this and into the third single crochet is where you're going to work a back post so you see we are now creating chains on the other side of our work you see what it's doing so chain three and um, skip this and into this you work a back post chain three skip work a back post chain three skip this into the third work a back post so this is going to go on and on let me just um, show you how to go about this part one two three three skip this one two into this um, work a back post one two three skip this into this you work a back post one two three skip this skip this into this you work a back post one two three skip this now into this is where you're going to work a back post right here one two three chains skip this into this you work a back post so let me just show you how it looks like that's how it looks like so you're just going to go on and on i just want to take you um over the bend So that you see what I have done right there
you work a back post now to get over this bend you work a back post so here you're not going to work a back post because there is nothing to work a back a back post on so you're just going to work a single crochet and right here you're going to chain five five and on this opposite side of the foundation stitches we made you're going to work a single crochet all right and then now you're going to chain three and start counting like you actually don't have to count you just see where you place the back post on this opposite side that's exactly why you have to put a back post on this side you don't have to go on and on and on counting because it's going to like really lag you back so just do this until you get back here and once you're there i'm going to show you what to do next um i just want to show you guys on this on this opposite side of um, your swimsuit you're going to find that you're going to have to make a front post instead of a back post all right like this instead of a back post because now we are working on the opposite side so it can be the same same you know uh, sort of like stitch so this is on this opposite side you're actually working a front post but it's just the same because when you work a back post it's going to like get to face this side yet i want it to face on the side of the breasts so um that's quite it so let me catch you on the other side so you guys into this very last um stitch where you have to work your last um chain this is what you're going to do all right because i want something that is a little bit decreasing like this and then like this because if we just make it straight it's going to like overlap all this all right so we are going to turn your uh, turn our work and work yeah this is one two three three and then single crochet into the next like this i don't think this was three just make it four okay single crochet into the next and then work three chains single crochet into the middle of the last um the previous chain uh in the middle of the previous um, chain gap three and just do the same chain three and single crochet right here so when you get right here I just I just actually marked my work because I want this to have double crochets so you just have to try counting your work backwards and see what you have to do right from the very first stitch of the next row you're making so right into this see what we have right into this we are going to work seven double crochets two three four five six seven okay and now we are going to work a single crochet into the next chain gap like that and then chain three single crochet in this chain three single crochet in this chain three single crochet into this chain three single crochet into this so right here into this you're going to work seven double crochets like we did okay so basically we have one two three four chain gaps because i want two more rows two more rows that's why we have four of them i want to work two more rows so seven and then single crochet it into this chain three work a single crochet i've showed you guys how to work dupatta because i've made um a dupatta halter top tutorial before so 
I hope you guys don't find this very hard for you to like catch up with so into the tip of this design right here is where I'm going to work because this is more like it's going to be more like a corner we have to work 7 plus 4 all right so 7 plus 4 is like 11 so we are going to work 11 double crochet stitches into this two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is how it has to look like you see what i have i have 11 stitches here seven of them here and seven of them here so you're just going to work exactly what we have worked on this side onto this side and then when i come back i show you what to do next so once you're at the end of your row you're going to chain one uh yarn over and then into the middle of this um chain gap you're going to insert your hook yarn through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through all now you're going to turn your work So um, you're going to just work three chains to start your next row. Three chains, three chains, until you get right here. Three chains right here. Okay. So right here we are going to work a double crochet into this and chain one double crochet chain one double crochet so you're going to chain one double crochet like this so you have to have a total of um, seven double crochet stitches right here and finally into this last one okay and now you're going to single crochet into this like this so you're going to work three chains work three chains and single crochet and work three chains and single crochet and work three chains and oh we have arrived so right here without making any chains you're going to work one double crochet into the very first double crochet and then chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet so this is what you're going to do until you get to the end of the row that is on the other side so you're just going to keep chaining one when you get to the double crochet stitches that we made and after that you're going to single crochet right here and chain three and just do the same chain three work a single crochet chain three work a single crochet and right here you're going to work 11 double crochet stitches with each having one chain in between like this so just do that until you get to the end of the row when i come back I show you what to do so you can see what we have this is what we have and this is how it has to look like you see so we are starting to get a pop some sort of like pop okay so just do that until you get to the end of the row when I come back I show you what to do next so I hope you guys actually made the decrease that I've showed you how to make uh, you're going to chain three and start your next row chain three and single crochet right here so we are going to work uh, one double crochet into the very first stitch and then we are going to chain two and work a double crochet right here into the next so right here you're going to chain two and double crochet into this next stitch right here chain two double crochet into the next stitch and chain two so basically with this step you're just going to have to double crochet twice 
and just work the same number of double crochets that we have made that is seven of them and right here you're going to single crochet into the chain space like this and then chain three and right here okay so we chain three again and right here we work a double cre we work a single crochet and then into this very first double crochet we are going to work one double crochet chain two work the next double crochet chain two work the next double crochet so it's that very simple <coughs> it's just that my yarn has run out and I have to join a piece of yarn on this so I'm still go on <coughs> so you're going to chain two work a double crochet right here I hope you guys are seeing clearly Okay, chain two, work into the next double crochet of the previous row, and chain two, work the next double crochet. So basically, you just have to have a total of seven double crochets. Because when you miss out on the number of double crochets you have made, you're going to end up with um, a dupta design that is not specifically what you want. May either look, may not look neat. And the last thing I want you guys to, to have is a neat piece of work after you watch my tutorials. So this is it. When you're, when you're done with having seven double crochets, you're going to just uh, single crochet into this chain space that we have right here. No, my camera is keep skipping. Okay. And then you're going to chain three like we did, like this. Just want this to disappear within. Okay, and single crochet into this. And then chain three again. Single crochet right here. So you see what we are having. And this is exactly what I expect you guys to have. So you're just going to keep doing that until you get to this other side. And once you're there, I'm going to show you what to do. What to do next. Because we just want the last, uh, the last row to be worked on the outside, not on the inside. And we are working this on the inside, like you can see. So your last row should be on the outside. Because if it's on the inside, your work is going to like flip like this and we want this thing to like just be onto the swimsuit so that someone that doesn't think it was just attached onto it so just work this row until you get to the end when you get them we show you what to do so to work your last uh, chain space you're going to chain one yarn over insert your hook into the very last space yarn through Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all. And then you're going to chain three, turn your work. Uh, work a single crochet into the next chain space. And chain three, work a single crochet into the next chain space. So for the last row, we are just going to work uh, single crochets. You're going to have to work two single crochets. Okay, sorry. Like you can see it here, we are going to work one single crochet into the very first double crochet right here. So we have one single crochet and into this space that we made, the chains, the two chains we had in between the double crochets, we work one single crochet and then work a picot like this and then work the second single crochet and then work a, a single crochet on top of the double crochet like this. So you work one single crochet 
worker picot that is chain three and slip stitch into the single crochet you made like this and then work another single crochet into the very same space and into the double crochet stitch on top of it you work one single crochet one yeah one single crochet one single crochet into the gap work a picot another single crochet into the very same space and then one single crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous row so this is what we have and this is what you're just going to continue doing until you get to the end of the row so i just want to show you how to maneuver and then into this very last space you're just going to do the same one single crochet another single crochet and then single crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous row so now you're, ju you're just going to single crochet into this chain space like this without working any chains and then now chain three one two three and single crochet into this chain space and right away on top of the double crochet of the previous row you work a single crochet and then work a single crochet with which we work a picot on top like this and then work another single crochet into that same space and on top of the previous double crochet you work one single crochet so this is how it has to look like and I hope yours looks like this So this is what we are going to do until we get to the end of our row and once you're there you shall have marked the end of your swimsuit only that i just want to show you how to just keep this in place so i want you to just do this work this row until the end right here and then when i get back i show you what to do next so guys we have come to the end of our last row and this is how beautiful this swimsuit looks like I hope you guys really enjoyed my tutorial but I just want to show you one more thing before I actually have this tutorial come to an end you just make this thread disappear within you can just this is what I usually do actually I just uh, go around get it through this side and this side until I feel I until I see the whole thread is like disappeared within so um, to have you do pattern design just like um, fall onto your swimsuit and it is like really well attached and not have it like leap because sometimes you can find maybe the wind is going to blow it and it will look like detached and all that so to just have it look um, well attached you can just get a needle i don't know where i put mine okay here we are you will just get a needle and try to have it let me just cut this off because this is how i try to keep my needles trying to get this off so you will just get a needle and not sew the whole of it on I'm not so good at hand sewing I may be good but then I don't like it because I feel like it's really really time consuming so I have my needle right here and I'm going to get my yarn you can use one strand if you want if you don't want you can use both so you get this and just have it go within I don't know why I'm showing you this because 
I'm wasting your time. Okay, so I have mine prepared and I'll just make a note on the end like this. Any way you want it anyway, whatever works for you. So I'll just come right here. You should always make sure it's in the center of your swimsuit. So this looks like my center. And I'm going to get to this side right here, like just above. So it comes through right here, as you can see. And I'm just going to work into uh, what I would call the the foundation chains, these ones right here is where I'm going to like stitch. Okay, so like this, I, I prefer you work with the same, same color that you use to work the dupatta design. Like this, please make sure you're placing it in the center. So like this, you get to this side and pull through. And you should also look at how I've placed my, my yarn onto the, the, the needle. It's like this. So it's only this that I'm using. I am not using like four strands. I'm using two of them. So this is where we are. And this is where we're going to stitch. You can just do this super, super fast. It's really, really very easy. You can just work around it super fast. But you should be very neat because we, we don't want it to show that it was hand sewn on i just want it to look like it was really crocheted on without having the effort to hand sew so you should be very very neat about your stitches that you're using to sew the stitches you're um sewing it on with so i'm just trying to make sure it's in the center Okay. Oh, it's out. I need to show you the end of it because it's not only the center that we are trying to attach. end of the day we want neat work so you're going to have to try make sure that your work looks really really neat I am thinking I'm attaching this to the center because if I'm not then it's going to look not the way I like it to look So, um, what is this episode? Um, okay, I was about to get the straps also into this whole mess. Okay. Also, when you're hand sewing, don't like over pull your yarn because it's going to make, it's going to pull the design. I just want it to look so free. So it looks nice. So, uh huh, right here. So this is the center. Okay. And I've, I've put my hook into it and also place it right there so it can disappear. So I come back right here in the middle of the very first row that we made. And right here, I'm going to work a stitch. And then right here, I'm going to work a stitch. And right here, I work a stitch. So even if you just stop right there and not just leave this, okay? 
just leave that turn your work and cut this off so this is why I love using two strands because I get to like tie them together like this And I usually do this thrice, not two times, so you can just to secure it like that. Or you can just do this, whatever you choose to do, that is easy for you. You can cut this off if you want to, and also cut this off. So you just come cutting off all these popping cuttings of yarn. So we have our swimsuit ready and you can also hit the beach if you want to. Right here you put straps. Right here you put straps. Okay. Right here you put straps. Here and here. I had already put two of these on one side of my behind. So you have to put two right here. So these two and these two tied to the two right here and right here on the front. So that's going to mark the end of my tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube. Follow my Instagram at Nita Crochets. And my Facebook at Nita Crochets. Twitter at Crochet Duchess. And Snapchat at Chic Crochets. Thank you so much. Goodbye.